Why do I look bald? My hair don't even look blonde. It looks brown. Hey guys, what's up? This is Rowan. Welcome to my new vlog. I just woke up. It's 2 p.m. I'm telling you, I don't want to wake up at 2 p.m. I actually wake up earlier. I actually wake up like at 10. But then, there's like nothing to do. So I'll just go to sleep. I need to find things to do. I can't just be sleeping. I'm out here on my way to the gym. Read my outfit. You know, got some sandals on. Got these uh, Adidas shorts on. This is New York, back in the day. How old is this shirt? Like, I want to say maybe like, since, I'll say I've had it since like 2013. Pretty old shirt. Got this back like a month ago. Had these shorts. I don't know. I just found these shorts. I don't even know who they are to be honest. And then these sandals. Oh, these sandals. I've had these sandals for like two years. No, uh, I don't even know where I bought them. But these sandals been through a lot. Uh, I used to wear them every day. Until I found my uh, Nike sandal. Alright y'all, let me present you my new whip. I hope the guy that owns this isn't seeing me through the window. Because he would think I'm weird. But yeah, it's my new whip right there. Nah, what's it called? Um, I do want to get a bike. I need to go take uh, the license test though. And I don't even have my car license, which is the most important one for me. We'll see, I'll probably get it like this year. If not, by the end of next year. I'm out here. Show you my improvements. Oh. We're all here celebrating one week of vlog with the lettuce burger. A oh, lettuce burger? Yeah. I mean, they call it protein, but I don't see no protein. I'm not hugging you go like that, you ain't doing it right. I asked for three meats, which is called three by three. Triple, triple, triple. They put two. I just don't get it why they call the protein burger. Maybe lettuce has protein. So tell me why. He ate half of his last burger, not knowing it was a double, a double double, and not a triple triple. So he went to uh, tell him, yo my nigga, where's my third meat and my third cheese? And he said, don't trip, we got y'all. Give him a brand new burger. So he's gonna eat a, a burger and a half, which I, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all right, I know the lighting ain't the best. We have stuff to say to the Cavs fans. What was it? Oprah Siderson? Oh, Siderson. Yeah. All right, reply to that nigga. So he's saying his, t he's saying that the Warriors are too stacked, and that his, and that LeBron's team is ass. LeBron's team isn't ass. They just, all right, game three, they didn't come up. They have, that. I'm, I'm not saying they have the exact same team from last year, but they do, they do have like plenty of them. Dude, they picked up Kyle Culver, like. Yeah. The only thing is that that his team isn't stepping up. Like fucking what J.R. Smith finally scored a three since fucking opening minutes of game one. You feel me? Yeah, and it it's not. It, how do I say? It's like Warriors on stack. Like Kyle Korver had his shot. He missed. He didn't come through. When they then it's like put it this way, and, and you can look it up. It's on first take. This and whatever. Uh huh. Put Kevin Durant in LeBron's spot. They'll still be in the finals. Because if you take out LeBron James, they still got superstars in their team. They do. They got Kyrie Irving. They got Kevin Love. They got... Dude, they're, they're pretty much stacked. Yeah. They're pretty much stacked. It's just the the big players. Shumper is a really good defender. I don't know what he was doing during the first quarter. Or second quarter, I think it was. When, when, when they were giving him a screen and then he started acting like a little girl. He's a really good defender. He just, he's just not clutch. But if you watch them regular season, they are really, really good. Especially Kyrie Irving. I don't know what's up with that nigga. No, no, no. It's not what's up with that nigga Kyrie Irving, bro. 
Kyrie Irving is making plays, and if you don't believe me, just watch Game 3 highlights. Uh-huh. Eurostep got through four people. It was a one-on-four yeah. fast break, bro. Kyrie Irving is doing everything he can to try to keep the Warriors, I mean, the uh, Cavs in it, dude. Uh-huh. And, come on. To be honest, without Kyrie, would they win last year? No. No. Without Kyrie, uh-huh. Cavs don't win last, last year, man. Uh-huh. Kyrie did everything, you know, so... Kyrie, Kyrie showing up. If you look at the stats, if you look at the numbers, LeBron and numbers. Kyrie got 30 points. Like, well, I don't know how many they got this today. I think they, uh, I don't know, dude. Fucking LeBron had 27 at halftime. Yeah, and like, then third. All right, so he had 27. He had 39 in total. What does that put it at? Um, second half, he had what? Uh, he had 12. 12. Yeah. He scored 12. In second half, what does that mean? He's just not clutch. There's nothing you can do about it. Not, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess you can say they're they're stacked, the Golden State stacked, but if you actually, like, I'm talking about play the game you're supposed to play, like, 100%. Playing your role, basically. Yeah, like, you should be fine. Dude, if, if J.R. Smith, if Shumper, if Kyle Korver, if all of them played, like, how they're supposed to play... Yeah. It'd be an interesting, interesting series. Like it wouldn't be three zero right now. Mm-hmm. You know what? Ha- what helped Golden State out? Y'all, y'all seen it? Fucking Clay Thompson missing everything. That was the first game. He was missing everything from the first game to the start of the postseason. Missing everything. Yeah, he hopped out in defense. Good, he played his part. Mm-hmm. You know. He played his part, and that's why they kept him in the starting lineup. Why? Because he was the only one that can guard Ky- Kyrie Irving. No, he was guarding LeBron James, too. Yeah, well, yeah, but they started him guarding Kyrie Irving because, man, they need someone to guard Kyrie Irving or Kyrie Irving's going to go off. You feel oh, me? Oh, no, no, no. Durant was guarding. Durant was guarding James. Yeah, but they would switch. They would switch, but so the, he, he was playing his part. You know, they know his defense is really good, so they can't get mad. Mm-hmm. And But now he started scoring. So let's see. He, let's say he didn't. He didn't start scoring. Just kept playing. This defense. this game wouldn't have gone that way. Cavs would have won today. Mm. Cause freaking how much he had? He, he dropped thirty. You know. Um. Play. Yeah. Yeah. He dropped thirty. Imagine he dropped six like in game one. Nah. Cavs would have won easy. Yeah. Someone. You know? Someone would have had to step up like Curry. Yeah. Or. Um, Dray, Draymond. Draymond. Someone. Draymond was yeah. Doing pretty good on game one. Yeah. So I mean they. It's not that they're overpowered. I mean, yeah, I guess they got Durant. I mean, they're the same as last year, 73 and 9, right? They're not the exact same team. They let go of Bogut, and they let go of um, Barnes. Nah, Barnes is still there. I told you, fool. They let go of... Um, Festus Azili. Azili. And one nigga. One other nigga, I forgot. Yeah, they let go of a few. They let go of two, like a few. Yeah, but they picked up. They, they, that was a good pickup, dude. KD. I mean, I'm not a Golden State fan. You feel me? I'm a mm-hmm. I'm a San Antonio Spurs fan, and, and I hate Zaza for doing that bullshit to Kawhi. But okay, look, let's start off with stats. Game three stats. Cavaliers. It's the Cavs fan. Cavs fan. It's the Cavs loss. Like uh, in the uh, game two. I don't know if you guys seen the the interview. The interview with LeBron James where, where yeah, um, Warriors had a lot of turnovers, but they didn't score. They had really good defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Kevin Love, three-pointers, one out of seven. Uh, Tristan Thompson, zero for zero. That doesn't matter. LeBron James, four for nine. J.R. Smith, five for ten. All right, let's look at, uh, let's look at the Warriors. Zero, uh, Damon, Draymond Green, 0 for 3, Kevin Durant, 4 for 7, 1 in the 4th quarter that mattered. Zaza Pachulia, 0 for 0, Steph Curry, 5 for 9, you know, not the best. Klay Thompson, 6 for 11. They're averaging about the same three-pointers. Yeah, it's just... See, they're, so they're pretty much exactly the same. Mm-hmm. The only difference is, <laughs> since since they're guarding the, the three-point line so freaking much, because... They feel like that's all Golden State can shoot. They leave the middle wide open. So all, all, all they got to do is either lob it up to Draymond or to fucking, what's his name? Fucking McGee. 
like easy, you know, just put it in the paint and they'll score, they make it work right there. You know, so yeah, you gotta guard it good because they can shoot and they can shoot really fucking really good. Really good, but as you can see, their three pointers, it wasn't like nothing fabulous. Nah. Andre Godala, one for three. He did pack LeBron though, I really like that one. The people are saying that it was a foul. Nah. Payback. Payback's Payback. a bitch. Okay, why did Cavs hire Kyle Korver? To make to make threes. Two for six. Come on. Thirty-three percent from the three-point line. They hired you for these moments, for the finals moments. Hell Not yeah! For Especially for these moments when you get the open looks, you gotta smack them. Yeah. You know you can't just. Well, it's nice you drive you drive it in and dunk it, but you can't. Your job was to. Find a wide open spot, catch and shoot. That's what they hired you for, because that's what you were doing at, what, Atlanta? With the Hawks? With the Hawks. And from the from the field goals, he was three for seven. They were just doing trash. Shumpert, zero for three. Williams, zero for two. Jefferson, zero for two. Kyrie Irving from the field goal, 16 for 29. You know, obviously not 100%. But, you know, score some. Kevin Durant was doing pretty good. Well, eh, 10, 18. Thompson was doing good, 11, 18. He would dollar two for six. Livingston was at 50% from the field goal. It's not much if, of a difference. If J.R. Smith would have showed up, it would have helped. No, if Kevin Love would have showed up, the game would have been so much different. Way. Ke Kevin Love only had nine points. What's their big three? James, Irving, and Love. James had 40 points. 39, but he had 40. Kyrie Irving had 38. Another 40. Love had 9. It was fucking what? 89. Was minus what? 3? Fucking 86 points. Right there. And now let's go to Golden State. Their big three. Durant, 31. Thompson, 30. And Curry, 26. They Kevin, had the same exact points. What I'm looking at Kevin Love is that he did have 13 rebounds, but like LeBron James was saying, you get the rebounds, but you got to score. It's not what they were doing. Yeah. Kevin Love was at at one. Yeah, he, like he was saying, Kevin Love, if he showed up, they would have won because Kevin Love was one for nine from the field goal and then one for seven from the three-point line. Yeah. Scored nine points. So let's say 40, 40, that's 80. Minus one, that's 49. Five. Minus two, five that's he 47. Got, he probably got fouled twice. 37 minutes? 32 minutes and only eight points by Draymond Green. Check out their bench. How much is their bench scored? You got dollar seven, Livingston six. Eight, West one, two. Seven. Why do they have such a small bench? One, two, three, four. Oh, um, the other fruits? Yeah. I don't know, dude. McGee only had one point. McCall had two. West had seven. Livingston had six. You could all had seven. It was a close ass game. Yeah, it was really close, close ass game. But you, honestly, like, if you have the lead, hold the damn ball, and then just throw it up and get an offensive board, and you're freaking golden. You know you can't let, especially Golden State, you can't let them go for an 11 0 run. Oh, and one more thing, he was he was talking about player role. Warriors were doing bad for what they normally do, and they barely won. So if they do, if they did as they supposed to, it would have been like a 20, 20 plus point game, thirty. We got, we got Green with that plays that power forward with eight rebounds. We got Steph Curry, which plays point guard with thirteen rebounds. Klay Thompson with six. Zaza Pachulia at seven. The seven at one. He has one rebound. And he's a center. He's supposed to get, like, more. Stephen Curry had 18, 13 rebounds. Holy fuck. 13 rebounds. Kevin Love also had 13 to match him. Yeah. But see, he's a power forward. Curry's a, a what is he, a point guard? Yeah. James didn't get a triple-double. They only got one more game. You he think needs he's a, one more he, assist. You think he's going to pass Magic on Friday? What is he's tied with Magic? At eight. For playoffs? Yeah. I don't know. If if uh, Golden State Warriors, because I mean they won and they were doing pretty bad, 
So I'm assuming they'll do a little bit better if they get their head in the game. I don't think LeBron James will pass him. Hopefully not. He's still got next year, but... Yeah, he's still got next year. So, yeah, by his career, yeah, they'll pass. Yeah, by that of his career, clearly. Mm -hmm. But by the end of this season? No. No. Nah, fam. Like Draymond Green says? Nope. Nope. Yeah. LeBron James had five turnovers. In that oh damn! How many turnovers they have? They have four, five, six, eleven turnovers. The Warriors. The Warriors had eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen turnovers. There's no way they had eighteen turnovers. That's eight from Draymond Green and Pachulia. Eagle Dollar had two. That's ten. One from McGee, McCall, and Livingston. That's three, that's 13. One from Curry, one from Thompson. That's 15. And three from Durant. That's 18. How the fuck? Dude, how? 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 Oh my god. How do you not win when you have 18 turnovers? When your opponent has 18 turnovers? You just won't, weren't coming through. In the last game, they had, they had, uh, what, 20 turnovers and still lost by 20? And you guys, ju just because they weren't playing right, like, like uh, the only players that showed up for Cavs is LeBron James and Kyrie Irving. I know we said earlier that they have an all-star team. They do. If you go watch uh, Kyle Corver when he was in the Atlanta Hawks, oh, he's one of the best, one of the best shooters out there. He just wasn't showing up for the finals. He's not used to going to the finals. They're all nervous. They have an all-star team. Obviously, that's why they're champions right now. Not until next game when the when they pass the torch to uh, to State. Warriors, yeah, to Golden State so, on Friday. On Friday, I what think time? they're going for the sweep. Sweep. I think it's a sweep. It's gonna be a good ass game. Clay Thompson. If Clay didn't show up today, that would have been game. All right. Real quick, why are Warriors stacked? That's not the NBA's fault. I'm just analyzing. I'm trying to get it together, right? Klay Thompson has been with the Golden State Warriors. He's been with the Golden State Warriors since 2011. The starters. All right, Klay. Curry. I'm not even going to go into Curry. Curry's been there. Zaza. Let's see. Oh, no, they got him um, last year, actually. Last year, yeah. Yeah. They had Andre Iguodala. No, um... Bogut. Bogut, Andrew Bogut. Wish he went to the to the Cavs, but got hurt and, and left. Yeah. yeah, they fired him, I think. Oh. Kevin Durant, obviously, they picked him up last year. Well, this year. No, last year. And the rookie, McCall, Patrick McCall. Draymond Green. He's been with the Warriors since 2012. He was a draft number. No, he was a draft from them, no? Or drafted him? I don't know. But he's been with them. Let's see who else is a likes. Oh, Andre Godale. He's an old ass dude. Like I think what what makes it best for them is their chemistry. Hell yeah. Their chemistry. The way they can move the ball. Mm-hmm. Their coach. Yeah, basically to sum it up. I leave it last year. Golden State in four. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.